right, welcome back. Um, I think this puts us at video number three, I think. Um, in the end of the last video, we were, of course, looking at the, uh, the frame, the chassis. Um, very pleased with it. Looks great. Um, the engine is not mounted permanent. It's just test fitted. I wanted to see how that works. Um, now, I have, uh, on my old channel anyway, in the past, been very critical of AMT kits. Uh, I even mentioned it in the last video. Um, <laughs> being that I'm, I'm always struggling to get the frame to, to square up uh, to a point where everything seems to fit together well. Uh, by pure fluke, I think I did that with this one. Um, at least by by looking at the engine when it's mounted. To test fit the, man, the, the engine, you have to line up this notch here underneath the fan belt, underneath one of these belts. Alternator belt. Uh, yeah. Um, and that will mount inside this little sort of a half moon cutout crevice thing right here. And then these tabs here, there and there, they will mount on the inside of the frame rails at a very specific location. In a perfect world, that's what will happen. Uh, I, I've yet to have any of the AMT kits I have do that because I, have, I do struggle so much getting the frame to line up straighten out. Um, this one did it immediately, so I, I must have done something right. Um, the, the engine fits in there just perfectly. It's in the right positions. Everything looks great. Um, so I did something right there. Now, we are moving on to the next stage, which is going to be sort of chassis details, accessories, as the instructions say. Um, now I am going to have to look through the instructions for the trailer, which I actually do happen to have right here. And that is what's going to tell me what I need from that kit. Yeah, okay, so I'll need basically these parts. I need the headache rack, um, mud flaps. I will also need the uh, trailer hitch because it doesn't use the fifth wheel. The jockey box. Fender assembly, I may not use the one from the uh, trailer kit. I'll have to take a look. I think what I'll do is I'll dig out some of those parts. We'll take a look and see if uh, whether I prefer some over others. Um, the headache rack for sure has to be there. Um, and then, of course, there is the the front bunk, basically. That that mounts where the fifth wheel normally would be, would, would be mounted. So, um, yeah, I... I well, We'll go ahead and, uh, uh, I'm going to dig out, for sure dig out the mud flaps and the, uh, the fender, uh, mud guard, whatever they call it, so I can see if I prefer one, one over the other. Uh, so we'll be right back with that. Okay, so, um, so I've dug out each set. Um, we have, of course, the mud flaps that came with the trailer. They actually say Peerless on them. I, I, I don't know what that is. It's an AMT. The trailer is an AMT kit, but I don't know if Peerless, maybe that's the brand of trailer. I don't know. I don't, I, I really, really prefer uh, the Diamond Reel mud flaps. Now, I've already painted these, but they actually do have the Diamond Reel logo on it. I'm going to use those for sure. Um, but when it comes to the fender assembly, as, as the instructions are calling it, we have this one that came with the truck kit. It looks fairly robust, but I, I just don't like the way it looks. I, I think that's how it looks based on the, the, the age or the model of the truck. But the one that comes with the trailer, I really like the look of this one. Um, of course, the truck is a little bit wider. The, 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 the flap is a little bit wider, but not by much. I might go with the one from the trailer. I'll have to give that some thought. Yeah, I'm not real sure yet. 
I'm not even sure how that's mounted actually. Let me take a look at how the how that is gonna be mounted. Oh no. Huh. Doesn't really have a a mount. Well, it has these little notches here. Maybe those notches, I think, are meant to go inside these uh, these little these little cutouts on the frame. And I don't know how I would mount these. Let's see how those look. Usually, there's a uh... yeah. Okay, so there's a chassis mount for it on either frame rail. So I'll have to give that. Yeah, right here. So I'll have to give that some thought. So that's the chassis mount for them. Hmm, that, that's a that's a conundrum. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll give it some thought. We'll 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 just keep going and and uh, and we'll we'll figure it out when we get to that point. So let's get back to building. I think. Um, so the next step, of course, is going to be I'm going to mount the engine, of course, permanent. I think, along with the drive shaft. Um, so basically, I'm just going to go start painting parts and then. Uh, and we'll start mounting. So let me go do that, uh, get some painting done. We'll let it dry for a couple hours up to the next day and we'll see how it goes. Okay, um, I did wanna, um, did wanna sort of bring this up before I, um, <clears throat> I start assembling parts. Um, I have already done some paint work on most of these parts. Um, dig out that box. I, um, I started painting uh, because I wanted the paint to be mostly, or at least as cured as I could make it before I started handling it. Um, I've already started, of course, like the, you know, the, the body. Um, these parts, as I drop it on the floor, these parts are parts that I will be putting on like real soon. So they're already painted. Um, the mud flaps are painted. Um, any of these uh, body accessories uh, are for the most part painted and ready to go. Um, <clears throat> I have a, another box here set aside specifically uh, with parts that I, I, I still have to paint based on the instructions. Um, <clears throat> it dawned on me, I've already got the trailer half built. I did that early on. Again, the video doesn't exist anymore because it was on my old channel. Um, and I'd already pre-assembled some of the other parts, like the headache rack that'll go here right behind the cab. It isn't quite the right fit, so I'm gonna have to do some altering, uh, alterations to this, this part here so that it will fit on the frame, because right now it's super wide. Um, also this part here, I forget what they call it. It's the front bunk. I think they call it. This is what's going to go where the, the fifth wheel normally would live. Um, but because we're not going to use the fifth wheel because this, this part, you know, because we, it is a logging trailer. Um, it, it's assembled. I just have to paint it. So that's probably my, my next step is just to, to get this all painted up. Um, I did decide to go with this one. This is the uh, the one that came with the truck, not the trailer, uh, mainly because it, it's for the truck. You know what I mean? It, it was made for the truck. I think it's going to look great. So, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and we'll get all these parts painted up, and we'll start assembling things and, and adding and gluing on. Um, another thing I did... The instructions for the trailer did mention that the trailer hitch right here, you will need uh, some trucks, some kits will need to have the, the, the frame rail on the back modified for that hitch. The reason being that you want the hitch out as far as it'll go because when that trailer makes a turn, you don't want it jackknifing and you know damaging the frame. So I went ahead and I, I built this piece here to, to, to bulk it out a little bit. And it's got the trailer hitch already glued on. So, um, yeah, I'll paint that so it matches. It'll look nice. 
I think that's it. So uh, real quick, we'll go ahead and do some painting and we'll come back and start assembling. Okay, um, I think we're going to call it quits on this video for now, um, only because I'm starting to run out of time as I'm editing the video. Uh, of course, I'm editing it as I go. Um, I'm noticing the video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to we'll call it quits here. Um, we'll quickly showcase the progress. Of course, we you know we got the grill, the um, the engine mounted, the radiators installed. We got the rear mud flaps done got the um, the tow hook or uh, the trailer connector piece installed with a uh, a new crossbar um, it doesn't seem like much but also we've got a lot of parts painted and glued um, so the next video will probably mostly be assembly because uh, there isn't much more I can do with the frame until the other parts are, are, are finished drying and, and, you know, with the glue setting. and um, So we'll call it quits here. Um, video 4 will, of course, be more assembly. Um, it's, it's taking a little longer than, than normal for me and expected because I am being a little bit more careful with this kit. Normally, I just build, sort of slap things together, and I'm happy with my results normally. Um, <clears throat> so, but I thought this time around, I'd, I'd take it a little slower, um, and uh, I think it's paying off uh, considerably. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, look forward to video four, where we'll continue with assembly, and... Um, Thanks for watching.